Hey, welcome back to the Carolina Flare Insider. I'm your host, RV Hodge. It is June of 2019, and as you can see in the background, I have something really cool to show you. So we're in Building 7, or also known as the Secret Lair. We have a CNC cutter. It's got a 12-foot deck, we cut 11 inches deep. It's got 18 horsepower to drive this thing. You want to talk about speed and precision? It's a little bit miraculous. The designer puts the input data into his computer on a CAD program. That gets interpreted by this machine, and it makes all these cuts. As you can see, it'll tear through this material fairly quickly, and it does it without making mistakes. We're human, that's not. There are a lot of things that require a lot of precision cutting, and this machine can do it so much faster than a human hand that as soon as the design concept is completed in the CAD program, literally minutes later, we can have the part that compresses our build time and hopefully compresses the entire construction process. Here we are at the 84 foot hole number 60. This is our second largest build to date. As you can see, the boat's wrapped up. A lot of things are done, a lot of things are being done. But today, we're gonna to take a look inside at one cool feature. The outside of a house is square, the outside of a boat is not. So we have to conform to that and be able to have ergonomic spaces in each of these compartments that do what they're designed and needed to do. We have a curved companionway here, what you would call a stairwell in a house. We have curves on the sides of the walls, the archways. Everything has a curve and a shape to it. There's strategic reasons. Historically, in boats, you don't want anything hard that you would bump against, but it's become an aesthetic that we really like. Looking at the practical aspect, we have a locker here that's going to be a storage locker, and I'm telling you, there's a lot of space in there. There's a lot of potential here in this size boat. So here we are in new construction. We have hull 66, hull 67, underway with a lot of racket, as you can tell. To my right, your left, we have hull 64. And right here, we have the guys working on laying out the air intakes. So the air intake is an important aesthetic to our boat. Getting that batting it out just right is an important feature. But it's also how the motors breathe. That's pretty critical to making this boat run. We're here at the transom of hull 66, and the mechanics are in the process of installing the shafts and the struts. That sounds easy enough on the surface, but these struts, with their 10 bolts each, and they're about 200 pounds each, got to hang upside down, be aligned perfectly on the shaft. The shaft has to be aligned perfectly on the bearing of the shaft tube, and then that has to be aligned perfectly to the location where the motor coupling is going to be. What could possibly go wrong? Well, there's a lot of science to it, but there's also a lot of skill. So we're looking down the side of hole 67 right here, right now, and what we're seeing is the fairing process on the tumble home bumpers. Now, not too long ago, we were looking at bumpers on, it was on a different boat, but the bumpers had been built in fiberglass. The fairing compound is an epoxy-based compound with a high solid content, and it is designed to smooth out all the irregularities that you would have in the fiberglass laps and so forth. This is the first step in getting a truly yacht finish, even on our bumpers. As always, thank you for joining us for the Carolina Flare Insider. We'll catch you next time.